Hello and welcome to Food for Thought. It's Mark Lockridge here. I'm the pastor of New Life Fellowship in Letterkenny and Milford Reformed Presbyterian Church. It's great to have you with us. My wife's favourite poem opens with the line, Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. It's from the wonderfully evocative and thought-provoking The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. It comes to mind in a tangential sort of way because of two video clips I saw the other day. Almost one above the other on my Facebook feed. One was a video of legendary rockers ACDC performing at Crook Park last Saturday. The vast crowd of 80,000 was singing along to one of ACDC's greatest hits. The other video was also of a crowd singing last Saturday, this time in Kilkenny. It was only a crowd of 700 people, but it was large enough in the circumstances, for it was a Christian conference. But there the similarity ended. One crowd was belting out, I'm on the highway to hell. The other, all people that on earth do dwell. Sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Words from Psalm 100. I was in one of those crowds and was deeply moved. Yet when I saw the other, I was also deeply moved. Hearing so many Christians singing with one voice in praise to God was tremendous. It moved me to tears at one point. But hearing a hundred times more people screaming with lead singer Brian Johnson, I'm on the highway to hell, moved me to tears too. A different sort of tears. Tears of sorrow. Hell is no singing matter. You might say, well, it's only a song. But hell isn't simply a lyric. It's an eternal destiny. A place so unutterably awful and bleak that I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. It's where all goodness, joy, laughter and pleasure is gone. And only pain, suffering, judgment and the blackest, bleakest regret remains. Contrary to ACDC's lyrics, there will be no party time there. Nor will it be that my friends are going to be there too. For there will be no friendship in hell for you to enjoy. Let me try and illustrate it this way. To hear 80,000 people singing, I'm on the highway to hell, is a bit like hearing 80,000 Jews in 1941 singing, I'm on the highway to Auschwitz. It's utterly soul-chilling for me. And the juxtaposition of the two videos and the two crowds reminded me of something Jesus said. Wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Psalm 100 alludes to that narrower road, one that leads right up to the gates of heaven itself. O oh, enter then his gates with praise, approach with joy his courts unto. Jesus Christ came to make it possible for us to avoid the joyless awfulness of hell and to enjoy the joyful wonder of heaven. Astonishingly, he could have sung the lyrics, I'm on the highway to hell, more truly than anyone. For he went there on the cross to pay for all our hell-deserving sin so that we could enter his courts with joy. He is the way, the narrow road that leads to life, the road less travelled. So choose carefully which road you pick. Don't be fooled by the one with many on it. Robert Frost ends his poem with these telling lines. Two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less travelled by. And that has made all the difference. Take the road less travelled by and you'll find it makes all the difference for all eternity. Thanks for listening. And if you want to hear more, why not have a look at our YouTube channel? Just search for New Life Fellowship Letterkenny on YouTube. Or if you want to get in touch, drop me an email, mark at newlifefellowship.ie. Have a great week.